Okay, hello everybody. I'm Mauro Vallati, and today I'm talking about uh, a work which is a collaboration between the University of Adelstein, Simplify Systems Limited, and the University of Brescia from Italy. And uh, what is the problem that we are looking that we are looking at right now? So we have traffic authorities which are increasingly turning their attention to AI-based or AI-enhanced approaches to address uh, traffic issues in the regions that they are controlling. However, it might be unclear what is the impact of these new techniques and what is the impact of any kind of modifications that you are applying to the traffic in a region. So validation and simulation is key in order to make sure that changes which are implemented are actually beneficial for the traffic in the region. But the generation of reliable and accurate traffic simulation models is very expensive, particularly if you're looking at traditional systems like vSIM or Ransom. They are time consuming and of course they are error prone because you need to take a lot of decisions in the process. And the many traffic authorities, particularly for uh, smaller areas, uh, do not have means uh, to invest so much for creating uh, simulation models which are actually reliable. And uh, what we are proposing in this paper to address this issue is to leverage AI knowledge models to create accurate and easy to replicate traffic simulators. So the main idea here is to exploit uh, available infrastructure from the region that we want to simulate and to provide information to AI systems that can then uh, work as simulators on top of the other issue, the other things that they can work out as AI approaches. So our contribution, if we want to summarize it, is that we are presenting here an approach to use AI planning actually, so this field of AI, to generate traffic simulators for urban regions where SCOOT systems is in operation. We provide actually an architecture that allows to extract useful information from the SCOOT messages. So we, provide, we propose our technique as a plugin for regions where SCOOT is active and is working. Uh, we introduce a PDDL plus based AI planning model, so a specific kind of formal model that can be used to encode and encapsulate the knowledge about traffic. And, uh, and to be used as a simulator. And we then demonstrate the accuracy of the resulting simulator using real world historical data of uh, a region of the UK, a small region of the UK. And what are SCOOT? So we may not know uh, what it is. It is a demand driven traffic responsive control aimed at handling cycle to cycle changes in demand. So basically the way in which it works is uh, you have clusters of uh, connected junctions and the SCOOT system tries to optimize the traffic flows within these junctions. Uh, SCOOT is relying on its own local data sensors, which are inductive loops embedded in the road surface with so uh, its own eyes on the street. And uh, generally, the implementation that you have of SCOOT is that it stores data into a dedicated database called Astrid, uh, and it's capable of generating a large number of reports uh, under the form of messages of different kinds. And for the sake of this work, we are focusing on two main kind of messages, which are called M20 and M37. And uh, these two messages are providing uh, a very different kind of information. So on the top here, we have, uh, well, here we have two examples. So the top one, which is the M37, that gives you information about stages, which are current on in junctions. So for instance, the first line that we can see here tells us that uh, at this specific time on this specific day on junction that we're calling here junction one for the sake of readability, uh, we add uh, the uh, stage number one, which has been on uh, for 45 seconds. So at this time, this stage ended and it started with six second intergreen followed by 39 seconds of green time. And you can see that then uh, it goes on and on. And of course, you have all the information from different junctions which are squeezed together. And M20 messages are a bit more complicated. I'm not going too much into the details in here, but basically they provide information about the occupancy uh, or about the expected queues and expected flows of each link uh, which is uh, connected to a junction. So in this case, again, we can say a specific time on a specific date uh, for a specific link, which is connected to a junction, what were the uh, corresponding values. 
not going too much into the details, but at least here you can have an idea of how does these messages look like. And uh, so we said that we were exploiting this scoot based knowledge uh, to use AI planning or automated planning for creating simulators. So automated planning dealings is a field of AI that deals with finding a sequence of actions that allows you to reach a goal starting from a desired state. And we are not using it actually in this case for generating plans, but we are leveraging on the fact that in order to use automated planning, you need to create a planning knowledge models that are formal specification of the domain where you want to exploit this technique. So in the case of uh, using planning techniques for simulators, uh, this knowledge model will encapsulate and represent uh, the basic rules that allow traffic to move. So the fact that traffic can flow on green, the fact that uh, links which are connected to junctions uh, allow traffic to flow in one sense or another, and so on and so forth. Plus, you can have also information, of course, about the specific region that you are controlling, and about the specific characteristics of that region. All these knowledge, general knowledge about traffic, specific knowledge about the region comes together in this knowledge model. And this knowledge model is the core of a simulator that we want to use. And uh, what is the proposed framework that we uh, developed and that we are presenting in here? So the idea is a fairly straightforward, if you like. So what we are doing is that we are extracting information as much as we can from these Astrid report messages, mainly M20 and M37. And we have some a priori knowledge about the network that we are uh, uh, going to deal with, which is static knowledge that can be stored in databases or that uh, experts from the region can provide us. These kinds of information are provided into a part of a tool that we call scoot to plan which is basically parsing all the data and creating historical strategies. So basically, if you are using historical data, this tool can create for you a, a kind of a plan-like evolution of what went on uh, and an estimation of what actually happened in the real world. And you can, of course, visualize this pattern here. Or you can use a, a planning system, first of all, for simulating what happened in the real world. And so you have a direct comparison between your simulation and what is actually recorded by the SCOOT systems. But on top of that, what you can do is to create new plans or to test different strategies and different configuration of traffic lights, run them using your AI planning system and having a simulated uh, evaluation of what would happen on your network. And this evaluation can either be just visualized as it is, or you can again compare it against historical data, assuming that you have historical data, because of course, this kind of framework can also be used on real time data. And in that case, you will just be focusing on this part down here, or basically you will extract information through scoot to plan information would be right here right now and you can create new plans and visualize how they are likely to evolve in a nutshell of course uh, additional information how could you plan work how the planning system work are described in details in the paper and this is an example of a pddl plus model so these more knowledge models which are used to encapsulate or to describe actually what are the conditions of the network and in here, you can see on the top hand side uh, a description of what is going on right now. So what is the current status of the network in terms of uh, which stage is on, on each junction, for how long it has been on, uh, what are the characteristics or intergreens, where you can move, uh, what is the snapshot occupancy, so the number of vehicles which are currently in every link in the network, what is the maximum static capacity so the maximum number of vehicles that can stay for each link, uh, the expected turn rate, so the expected flow of vehicles that through a stage are going from one link to the next one, and so on and so forth. And then you have uh, this one, which is not very readable, but it's a kind of plan, which is telling you what happened at what time, 
so that you can simulate and understand what is going on. And for our experimental analysis, so for testing out that the proposed framework and the proposed technique work well, we used a corridor of the Kirklis region. So this corridor is approximately 1.3 kilometers long. You can see in here that it has some six junction, a large number of road, well, a few road links, number of stages, and we focus on historical data collected in January 2022. We focus on January 2022 because most of the COVID related restrictions in the UK were relaxed at that point. And so we were capable of focusing on morning peak hours during uh, uh, weekdays and over the weekend in order to test the system under different conditions. And in here we can see what is the relation between uh, the evaluation of the condition of the network according to the SCOOT system, which is in blue, and what our system was capable of simulating using historical data and exploiting our AI planning system as a simulator. And you can see that on the left hand side, uh, for one specific link that we are considering here, particularly between J4 and J5 in the previous slide, uh, results are very much similar and comparable in terms of snapshot occupancy. So you can see that the patterns are exactly the same, values uh, tend to be very similar. Larger discrepancies can be seen on weekend days because patterns of traffic are less predictable. But also in this case, but you can see that somehow the figures, the overall figure remain quite similar. Specific values tend to change a bit, even for errors are in the number of 10 vehicles or so, so not particularly huge. And in here you can also see the normalized difference that tends to remain below 10% or around 10%. Of course, uh, the longer you're running the simulation, the higher is the possibility or the probability that you start to see significant discrepancies. Still, these kind of discrepancies remain around 10%. So you can have a simulation that can simulate quite effectively the next 15 minutes. Actually, we push it to half an hour or 45 minutes uh, in uh, uh, a very nice region of accuracy. So in concluding, uh, what I hope I managed to transfer to you is that we present an approach that allows you to leverage the strength of AI systems, in particular AI planning, to craft uh, accurate and cheap urban traffic simulators to assess the impact of traffic signal strategies. You can run historical data to see how it works and to test it for your specific region, and uh, or you can try completely new and untested strategies uh, to understand the impact of them on the region of interest. And we tested the approach on real world data from a major corridor in a town, Huddersfield, of the United Kingdom, and we simulated the evolution of traffic at different times of the days. Again, uh, more results can be seen in the actual paper. Future work will focus on extending the capabilities of a simulator, maybe considering uh, uh, additional actions that traffic authorities can put in operation, like uh, virtual message signs uh, or connected autonomous vehicles, that sort of things, and uh, expanding the testing on very different areas, maybe from different regions of the world. Uh, and that's all. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'm available for questions in whatever form this conference allows.